you're still watching ways national look alike day each year on april um mm -hmm. this day celebrates those who look like another person um people who look like each other are still unique in their own way you might call it doppelganger i hear people call it that right if you find your spitting image however seeing yours suggests you've even um, seen your spirit double who robs the earth um, in folklore seeing yours um, is a signal of bad omen um, we don't believe that anymore i know so though over the years the terms have come to mean someone who looks just like you so have you seen anyone who looks like you like just like you Absolutely, yes. really Wow. Yes, they actually thought I was a lady called uh, Franca at the time, ah. and they actually mistook me for her. And likewise, so yes, it does exist. How did you feel about that? Ah, I was a bit jealous mm -hmm. <laughs> because oh, how can they, you know, have someone who? Just but did like you me? see the resemblance? Because my oh, own yes, case, I did. I didn't see. People tell me, oh, you look like this person, I you did. look like this person. I, I don't did. see the resemblance. I but did. I think I've seen it just on one person because someone sent me a picture on Instagram. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, this this looks like me. Yes. <laughs> But a lot of the times, yeah. I'm sorry, it feels, it feels like I'm going to shade a, a particular tribe. Mm. But I feel like when Yoruba people just see someone that is light, yeah, you, know, Ibo. Or, <laughs> Ibo, you pull your look alike. Oh you like, no, we don't. Standard. <laughs> right? But yeah. But I think it has yours? to do with yeah. light skinned people, though. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've, a lot of people have told me that this. My cousin, there was one time she was, was obsessed about seeing somebody that looked mm. like me, and I was like, no. Mm. I don't know if you know, is it Ebisan? There's a, a Nigerian um, Ijo uh, uh, musician. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that they said that we look alike. I, I can't see the difference. Do I look like Inkiru Silvanus? No. Oh, oh wait, wait. Uh, somehow. Ish. Somehow, how? I don't know. No, no, <laughs> no I, don't I don't think don't. so. I'm people I don't saying think that so. I'm wondering how. I don't think so. Don't but but so. I think I, I know where they're coming from because Where of the chubby cheeks. From? The chubby cheek, okay. So but everybody with chubby cheeks look alike. Now. Or maybe mm. they, I don't know. She has chubby cheeks. <laughs> Okay. Let's, just, let's just get into our conversation. Um, Alera, let me start with you. Okay. What did you find for us? In All right. News? So today, yeah. um, what I found in the news, so it's the International um, Monetary Fund, that's the IMF, urges federal government to avoid dumb lop by reducing public debts. So um, the story basically is that the International Monetary Fund has expressed concern about potential um, dump loop for Nigeria and other um, struggling economy. So they're basically saying that um, as at April 2022, the Global Financial Stability Report is, is um, given that an average of the public debt is going to rise um, by 67% in the market between, now, between last year and now. The, the Nigerian bank credit, um, credit to the government troop in um, 4.9 trillion um, naira in February, which means that um, we are actually going into debt as you know, as it's coming along, which is really scary. You say we are going into Nigeria. It. We are going into. We are into. We are in it uh, already. We are okay. already in it. We are in debt actually. <laughs> so, so it's been said that um, the credit to the Nigerian government has increased to um, by 1.33 trillion as at 2021, and it's rising to 13 um, trillion as at December 2021. So the MFO stated that the reason to worry about this is because the large holding sovereign debt um, exposes the bank for losing finances and just keeps declining. So me, I'm really scared. Mm. I'm worried because if Nigeria is still is going down, 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 owing into trillions of debt. So how mm. how is how are we going to come out of this debt? Who contributes money? It's okay. Ajo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like getting into those conversations, but I, I mean, I like that you're taking it because it's, I mean, everybody is really. Concerned we need to wake up. This conversation is even about money. Not so. just even about that. I mean, election is around the corner. Yes, it is. So mm. when we are looking out for who we are um, going to yeah. vote, for. it's important that we begin to ask the important questions yes, like, is. what is your plan? We have this debt. What? How are you going to revive the economy? Exactly. I remember when we were doing our bubu and uh, ushiba. There was this one we focus on hmm. security. This one we focus on the economy. Let's not even go down there. Yeah, but right. let's just ask the right question and just vote right. Really, like, that's all we owe ourselves. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. and okay. Get our PVC. Yeah. yeah get your PVC. Uh, did you see the story about I think two million plus PVC being incorrect, um, invalidated yeah. registration <laughs> or yeah, something? Yeah, I did. Okay. okay. All right. Um, <laughs> so on. what I found in the news I is my oh you haven't no okay Just okay go ahead. my story goes <laughs> um, COVID nineteen U S lifts mask and mandates for um, airlines mm -hmm. you know and this is 
important for everybody to know that you know currently um, after um, 505 million cases and over 6.2 million deaths recorded globally that there has been 6.2 million what? million uh, wow. deaths recorded wow. um, globally that there has been a uh, a lift in uh, COVID restrictions basically around uh, America currently. So we have, um, um, let me just get the story out. United um, States of America has asked major airlines, which is not, um, United and uh, Delta Airlines, mm -hmm. to in the country to abolish the coronavirus safety measures requiring passengers or employees to wear masks within the airport and transit stations. And um, authorities in the country said they were lifting the COVID-19 um, restriction after federal high court um, judge uh, on Monday struck down the public health measure. In uh, this was reported by the New York Times. Now, however, while this is going on in America, Nigeria is not easing out in their COVID-19. Um, no, I, I think I think we are. I think we are. It's yes, well, well, not just not, curfew. So it was something the, I enjoyed. But we have the PC. The PCR yeah, there was something I enjoyed. Um, so when I was traveling for my recent whatever, <laughs> um, so going to Kigali, I had to do the, the test yes. for me to be able to even board the flights to go there. Yeah. And then when I got there, so I paid for another test and then did another test there, which I never got the results right. But coming to Nigeria, actually, if you are. Um, completely vaccinated yeah. you don't need to um do the test anymore or to mm. pay any money yeah. so i i was able to enjoy that even while I, while I was walking into the airport the official was saying well, where's your covid19 um mm -hmm. test results i'm like mm -hmm. i'm going to nigeria i'm in nigeria so i don't need it and i was like oh okay so i think yeah. we are also um easing out. easing out we are faster than some areas yeah. but yes we need to go faster yeah because, because the bulk of this death you're even talking about happened over there right yeah. so and in america yeah. sorry in the in England currently, mm -hmm. they have actually eased out on the PCR test and mm -hmm. they even said that they would allow those who are um, having the, the, who are unvaccinated, mm. you know, can, they can actually come in and have the, uh, what's it called? The, um, no, the, um, what we call, uh, what's the name of that thing that we call it? What's that thing that we call it? You hibernate for some time before you actually come out. Oh, um, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yes. Now, but I when you're now. isolation. Yeah, isolation. Yes. Not really hibernate. When, <laughs> <laughs> when you're in isolation, basically. So they would allow you to, you know, do yeah. that and come in. But that they should get used to actually living with COVID because COVID isn't going anywhere anytime Yeah, soon. hygiene is important. Basically. Still keep taking so, care of yourself. Yeah. It doesn't end. This is happening yeah. in, in the UK. So I think we should have done more in Nigeria because we haven't gotten to but that we, we always play that. catch up so let's let's not even <laughs> dwell on <laughs> that um let me quickly take my story i see right. why i was in a hurry to take it before yours yeah because it, it it's coincide yeah what she was saying okay. um so apc fixes presidential form for 100 million naira yeah. adopts um indirect primaries okay. um i'll just read quickly the national executive council um, of the ruling all progressives congress has fixed the cost of its presidential expression of interest mm. and nomination forms at 100 million um so this means that um the expression of interest form is 30 million just to say i have interest right it's 30 million naira yeah. and then the nomination form costs 70 million naira. so altogether uh, mm. makes it 100 million um so for house of representative aspirants to pay 20 million and 10 million uh, respectively wow. um aspirants for state legislative seats are to pay 2 million naira uh, for both forms hmm. um but it's also important to note that the NEC approved a percent discount for candidates less than 40 years and free tickets for women and person lives uh, persons living in the, with disability so I mean, if you're a woman, <laughs> this is the time to um, come forward and hmm. show us what you okay. got. Um, but then mm. it's still in direct primary, so mm. what's the point at the end of the day? But yeah, so that's the information I have for you in case you have yeah. 100 million and you want to run for um, presidency under the All Progressive Congress Party. Very interesting. With total due respect hmm. to those with we have they would <laughs> allow them to. We to have run. a very interesting conversation today. It's about money, yeah. and um, we need to begin to know how to make this money even while we're sleeping so yeah. after the break we'll be bringing in our guests and starting of the conversation don't go nowhere